Hi guys, welcome to Game Maker. Now the first thing we need to understand around Game Maker is uh, the layout we've got. So over here, up, up top we have our files. In file is where you have your save, open, and everything like that. Edit, where we get some, uh, where we can copy and paste everything. Okay, we have some other resources, but I'll show you a better place to find these. We can run the game from here, we have Windows. Uh, but yeah, we won't worry about that. So from here, then we have this next line. Okay, this is basically everything in here but in icon form. So we can go new game, open game, save game. As you hover your mouse over them, you'll see it actually says what you want it to do, what it wants you to do. Okay. Play game, run game, debugging mode. We basically like running the game, but without running it. Okay. Uh, create a sprite. We know a sprite is an image. Create a sound, create a background, create an object, create a room, information. Okay. Change global, global settings. Who cares about all this? Okay, and upgrade your copy of Game Maker. Please don't do that. Now, down the left hand side we have our files. Now within each file, it's organized nicely for us. We have sprites, sounds, backgrounds, objects, and rooms. The sprites are basically your pictures of things, okay? Don't get confused with sprites being objects. It's the hardest thing to get your head around, but it's not an object. We have sounds, okay? Before you can actually import any sound, you've got to put the sound in here. Backgrounds, objects, objects of anything within your game, anything, any feature at all, full stop. Like so, any walls, any like, anything you need to interact with your game, that's what you put in here. And then rooms. Now let's start by creating a room, and you see it says room zero. If I create another room, it'll say room one. Okay, but when I play my game, it's going to always play the room that's on top. So if I want room one to be on top, I just swap it over. Okay, I'm actually just going to delete one of the rooms. Doesn't matter which one. But I might rename it, name it to level one. Uh, click on it like that and go level one. Now within my room, I'm going to change my pixel. So we we have squares in our room, okay? A pixel is every any little square. It's currently set it's, this is to 1616. I want to change it to 3232. The main reason this is that my, all my sprites are actually 32 pixels by 32 pixels. Then I'm going to get my sprites. Now, as I said, sprites are literally just pictures. So we click on load this, and I'm going to load a wall. Open the wall. We're going to just call it sprite wall. Okay, and I'm going to go OK. Now, I can't do anything with this yet because I haven't actually made an object. It's just a picture. And now, I want to, if I want to give it characteristics, I'm going to go open the object. I'm going to click here straight away and give it the sprite of the wall. I'm going to call it object wall. And then I'm going to make it solid so everything can run into it. Now this is your event page. Our wall sits still so that they don't have events or actions. Okay, or we put the events on the other things. Then we click OK. Then I want you to click, uh, go in here, <coughs> Sorry. click here for the click object wall. And you add just add them in. Okay, now what I'm currently doing is holding shift and holding my left click and pushing it around. Left click adds it, right click deletes it. So if you accidentally put a piece in the middle, just right click it and delete it. Please stick to this format a moment, don't get fancy. You can get fancy later on, okay? So that ends today's session. Next session we'll be actually adding more sprites and having one bounce around the room.